Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make homemade granola because it's so simple to make, very delicious, nutritious and you won't need to be buying granola anymore. So let's get into it. I have all of my ingredients laid down in front of me but I'm gonna list everything that I use in the info bar so make sure you check it out. So what you're gonna need is a big mixing bowl and a lot of different ingredients that you personally like. You might be allergic to some nuts so you might want to skip those and add what you personally like. So I add about 100 grams of pumpkin seed. They are so healthy and so good for you. Then sunflower seeds, again about 100 grams but I basically eyeball it. Just four or five uh, tablespoons of linseed. Then I have this golden sort of crushed linseed. Uh, it looks like this. I believe I bought it in Bio Salad Shop. So I'm gonna add some of that. Uh, some desiccated coconut because you know my love for coconut. And now it all looks like bird's food. I'm also gonna add some chia seeds. Then I bought these coconut chips, so I'm gonna add some of that. And, oh, actually they're quite chunky pieces. Let me try. Never bought these before. Mm. Oh my God, so good. Natural taste from Africa. These are from Ghana. I would actually add some almonds, but I don't have any almonds at the moment, so I'm gonna add coconut chips. About a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is what the mixture looks like. Just a bunch of stuff. What you need is some oats. This is actually a mix of five different um, oats and you need a lot. You need about 500 grams. Um, not sure if I'm gonna use it all. Maybe. And I feel like there are more oats than anything else, so I'm gonna add some extra ingredients. As I said, I just eyeball everything. I definitely want some more pumpkin seeds. And you can add goji berries or macadamia nuts. some more linseed okay so now that my mixture is ready what you're gonna need is some honey and coconut oil or any other unscented oil it can be almond oil it can be uh, rapeseed oil actually don't have too much left so what you want to do now is melt uh, the honey and the oil mix it together and you need quite a bit of honey about four or five tablespoons and this is actually my grandfather's honey so it's so so yummy okay about this much honey this honey has crystallized so that's why I'm melting it which isn't great because it kills um, all the good qualities of honey I'm using low heat and um, yeah, if you have fresh runny honey, that's perfect. Coconut oil. The mixture has melted. I'm gonna pour it over my oats. So now I have to mix everything together and make sure it's nicely coated. I'm a little out of breath because I was out of my coconut oil and had to run to the corner shop to get some but they didn't have coconut oil so I got sunflower seed oil which is another oil that you can use because it's scentless and it's great for granola. Uh, so I'm gonna add that in. Keep on mixing everything together. Make sure that everything is coated in oil and honey. <laughs> A 
let's shove it in. What you're gonna need is some Greek yogurt, granola that I've already put in a jar. Um, I love to have some peanut butter, banana, nectarine. Actually, my favorite combination is banana, nectarine, and blackberries, but I don't have any blackberries today, so I'm just gonna use these two. Basically anything you love and then usually I would add some maple syrup But I got some agave syrup to try out because I actually have never tried it before So now I'm just gonna chop my fruit I actually found that I had some frozen blueberries, so I'm gonna use those as well I only usually use half the yogurt I only have half of it left here. Just adding a pretty generous amount of granola. Okay, and now my favorite peanut butter. I love this one. So I do a spoonful of that and some agave syrup. And that's it. Breakfast done. Looks so, so, so yummy and very filling at the same time. Definitely should keep you full until lunch. And this, guys, is how I make my own granola. Um, love having it in the morning for breakfast, in the evening for snack, for brunch, any time of the day. If you would like me to do more cooking or baking videos, let me know in the comment section. Leave suggestions if you have any and I'll talk to you soon. Love you loads. Bye!